Hi parents and carers of our prep cohort. My name's Charlotte. I am the prep teacher of the Wombats class. And I'm Carly and I'm the teacher of the Emus class. And welcome to this Parent Academy focusing on challenge words. Now before starting, we will play our Where's Acknowledgement of Country. We at West End State School acknowledge the Yagara and Turrbal people's land and waterways where we meet, learn, play and celebrate together. We recognise and respect the First Nations Elders past, present and emerging for taking care of Mianjin and sharing their culture, efforts and contributions for thousands of years. So in this video, we are going to share additions to our prep homework for term two, particularly the introduction of challenge words. We will also share our expertise around the teaching of challenge words and how you can support your child to read these words at home through our homework program. So challenge words, as we call them in prep, can also be known as sight words or high frequency words. And we refer to them as challenge words because part of the word is challenging mm. for students to read or write. So when reading, we teach students to decode or sound out the letters in words and blend them together. So for example, the word cat can be read by saying the sounds k, a, t, and then blending them together to read the word cat. Challenge words, however, mm. contain a part or parts that cannot be read yet by students using their current sound knowledge. So, for example, when we look at the word was, while students do know the first sound, woo, the o oh sound is challenging because it is represented by the a letter, which usually makes a a uh sound. And the z sound at the end of was is also challenging because it is represented by the s letter, which usually makes us sound. So we teach challenge words because they occur in lots of books and students need to know them early in their reading journey. So if you have a child that has already gone through prep, you may remember that these challenge words or sight words mm -hmm. were previously learned through memorization. However, current research so shows that students do not have the space in their memory to learn every mm -hmm. challenge word this way. Even as adults, we look at every letter in words when reading and we become very skilled and quick at this. By practicing reading these over and over, we become automatic. In your child's prep class, we have carefully selected a number of these challenge words to teach each term. We ex use explicit teaching strategies that encourage students to use their skills of segmenting and blending when reading these challenge words. Students draw on their phonics knowledge to read sounds that they do know in challenge words, and we tell them the tricky or challenging part in the word that they are not able to sound out yet. This method of teaching aligns with updates to the Australian curriculum and reflects current research. So we have a wonderful example of a very own Charlotte <laughs> um, showing us what this will look like. Now, Wombats, we are going to learn a new challenge word today. And our new challenge word is four. Can you say four? Four. Like I went for a walk. Who else could use it in a sentence? Ivan. I went for a walk with my dog. Now this is the word for. We know how to read the first sound. What's the first sound? Four. Do we know that sound? Yeah. yeah. But this next part is the challenging part. This what says you with your all. Can you say all? Who wants to read it to me? Coco. All. all. Nice reading. Amane. All. How many sounds are in the word for? Can you show me your phoneme fist? What are the sounds in for? All. all. Four. All. How many lines do I need? Two. Two. Watching me. One line. Now I need to write the word four. Do I know the first sound? Yes. What is it? What's the next sound? Four. Oh, this is a bit tricky. Or oh. these two true. letters are making the or oh sound. Can you have a go at writing four on your board? So this term.
again, we encourage you to practice the challenge words that were taught by your child's prep teacher in term one. And the goal of this practice is for your child to build confidence mm. and automaticity as they read these words. So the term one challenge words have also been carefully included in other aspects of the homework this term. term. So, for example, when your child receives blending phrases and sentences, look out for the challenge words in there. Keep watching this video to view an example of how to practice challenge words reading at home. And we really encourage the use of these strategies in place of word memorization. Remembering our challenge words, sometimes we know a sound, and sometimes there's a bit of a challenging part or a tricky part, isn't there? Let's have a look at the first one and have a go at reading. Can you use your finger for me? Is. Oh my goodness, excellent. Do you know which part is the part we know? What sound? Yeah, excellent. And what's the tricky part, the challenge? Z. Yeah, because usually the S makes a sound, doesn't it? So it's a bit challenging because here the S is making a Z sound. Is. Excellent, this one. Uh, oh, that's okay. We can have a look together. Now this first part is a bit challenging. This is making the or sound. Can you say or? Or. This part we know. What sound would it make? Or. Yeah, so we've got or or. What does that say together? Uh, two or. Almost. We've got or. Or. What's that word? Or. Uh, or. Can you hear it? Mm. Or. Can you try and read it? Read the sounds. Or. Excellent. We've got or. Or. This part is a bit challenging. It usually makes an ah sound, but here it's making an or oh sound. Oh. Thank you so much, parents and carers, for joining us today. If you have any further questions, um, please don't hesitate to contact your child's prep teacher. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. Bye.